Look, right now, Othello feels threatened. And when a man like Othello feels threatened, he lashes out. So what does that have to do with me? You're Freddy's pet project. Look, with you gone, Freddy's whole reasoning for being here disappears. But I thought they brought him here to, like, modernize the marketing department or no, something like that. No, that's mostly for the media. Freddy's an A-plus marketing guy, but the real reason he was brought on was to solve the MP problem. Don't, don't, wait, wait, no, no, no. What? MP project? Oh, what, what is that? Don't get emotional. My point is, if you're gone, it means that Freddy failed to sell you to the fan base. And if Freddy failed, that means that Phil failed. And if Phil failed, somebody's going to pay for that. It's not going to be Phil. Look, look, just... Right now, Othello's trying to consolidate his power. I mean, think about it. With Freddy out of the picture, that's just one less person who can question Othello's way of doing things. What are you thinking? If he wants to trade me, let him trade me. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. If the fans don't want me, my own organization doesn't want me. Why am I even here? You don't mean that. No, I do. How many times am I to get told that I'm not wanted before I take the hint? Mega! So what's the big emergency? Someone die or something? Your guess is as good as mine. So you don't know anything? No, I just got a text from Ricky saying to meet here as soon as possible. I got the same one. Ash, anything? Nope. And everything's clear on social, so it's not about anything happening online. No, of course. No, you have my word. All right. All right, thanks. Take care. You want to tell us what's going on, Rick? <sighs> Look, it's, it's Othello. He's trying to trade you. Excuse me? Look, there's a lot of backstory here, but yeah, the bottom line is Othello's trying to trade you and we all need to talk strategy. Oh, I got plenty of time right now, Ricky. So how about you just backtrack a little bit and tell me exactly what's going on. So I know with how you know all that. Look, I, I can't tell you all that, man. Look, this is like some deep state office politics, but look, just trust me, the intel is solid. And that intel is? Othello feels Freddy's trying to replace him. We're talking about brand and marketing, Freddy? Yeah. Brandon Yo, bro, friend. that is insane. Dude is not even a basketball guy. Yeah, you know that. I know that. But from Othello's perspective, he feels like Freddy is Phil's right-hand man, which means that he's in his ear, which means he can recommend firing him. You know what they think about each other? Not exactly best friends. <laughs> yeah, that's putting it lightly. Look, right now, Othello feels threatened. And when a man like Othello feels threatened, he lashes out. So what does that have to do with me? You're Freddy's pet project. Look, with you gone, Freddy's whole reasoning for being here disappears. But I thought they brought him here to, like, modernize the marketing department or no, something like that. No, that's mostly for the media. Freddy's an A-plus marketing guy, but the real reason he was brought on was to solve the MP problem. Don't, don't, don't. Wait, wait, no, no, no. What? MP project? Oh, what, what, what is that? Don't get emotional. My point is, if you're gone, it means that Freddy failed to sell you to the fan base. And if Freddy failed, that means that Phil failed. And if Phil failed, somebody's going to pay for that. It's not going to be Phil. Look, look, just... Right now, Othello's trying to consolidate his power. I mean, think about it. With Freddy out of the picture, that's just one less person who can question Othello's way of doing things. What are you thinking? If he wants to trade me, let him trade me. Whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. If the fans don't want me, my own organization doesn't want me. Why am I even here? You don't mean that. No, I do. How many times am I to get told that I'm not wanted before I take the hint? Look, it's MP, not... I know that this is a hard pill to swallow, but you're looking at this the wrong then way. how should yeah. I be looking at it, Ricky? How? As, as one man's opinion who's out of touch on the modern NBA player trying to desperately save his job. One yeah. man, an entire city. What is the difference no, in no, this no, case? No, 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 The fans are the fans, and you know you are well on your way to winning them over. Winning cures everything. Remember that. And what about Othello? Okay, yeah, that, that situation is a little trickier to navigate, but you're not powerless here. Okay. So tell me. What power do I have in this situation? You can fight back. Look, if Othello's the only one trying to ship you off, then he's creating a you versus him situation. Okay. Make it so he has to leave, not you. And how do we do that then? There are ways. Yeah. See this? This is a PR problem. Othello wants to trade you? Fine. We're gonna make sure that everybody knows that he's doing that out of spite and paranoia, not for the good of the team. If we can make your case persuasively, we can get the press on your side. Mm -hmm. And once national press starts calling for a GM's job, very rare that they survive. You know what, guys? I appreciate all the fun little capers you have planned for me. But like I said, I'm good. Wait, if they want to trade me, let them trade me. No, MP, think let about them trade this. me. And Pete, wait! What? 
We have a date tonight, remember? Listen, City maybe, View. I'm not in the mood for City View right now. Okay, I get it, but I just think it would be good for you to take your mind off of all this for a second. Fine. But I just want to be alone right now. Okay, it's understandable. Why don't we just meet up there after the game? All right, that's fine. Hey, we're gonna get through this, okay? I love you. I love you too. Well, at this early stage of the season, what's the biggest challenge for a team, Grant? Well, you know, B.A., early on, some teams know what kind of club they are. But for a lot of teams that have some turnover or a coaching change, it's about finding who you are, finding your identity, figuring out what style is going to work. And a look at the starters for the Bulls. Levine and DeRozan, the star-studded wings. Nikola Vucevic is out there with Javante Green. And it's Junior in at the point guard position. Well, we know that Fred Van Vliet can be relied upon to find the open man. This guy's so consistently good at it. Junior against Van Vliet to the paint. Here's Green. Yes, and it's Junior picking up the assist. Making a statement here early, going right to the rack. Oh, I love it. And this is why you get the ball into his hands. Let him establish the pace and rhythm of the game. Now here's Ananobi. Siakam finds Van Vliet. Buries it from three. Now Fred Van Vliet has become a true impact player. This guy remarkably consistent from deep. Junior against Van Vliet. Here's Junior. Goes up and lays it in. Nice and easy. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. The aggressive take there to get inside. They're looking to make things happen to try and take control of this game. For Chicago, they've gone two of three from the floor. And he's going for the lob! Nice catch and finish on the lob. Nice touch on both ends of that alley-oop. Hey, when he let go of the pass, I had no idea what he was going for. Trent outside. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. Van Vliet misses. Well, if the defense gives him that shot next time, they could get burned. I think he's just a little bit out of rhythm. He glides into that move, suspends in the air. Levine, nice. Trent outside. Pass to Ananobi. Back to Trent. The three is up. And again, Toronto, no good. For Chicago, they've gone four or five so far. Looking sharp. Levine gets the bucket. And why go away from attacking inside if the D has no answer for you? Well, Doris, it was only a few years ago that the Raptors won an NBA title. It seems like a lot further back, though. It does, B.A., because we're looking at a much different basketball team. Obviously, Kawhi Leonard has moved on. Kyle Lowry has moved on. In fact, many of the key players from that squad have moved on. Incredible to think they have managed to remain competitive. Down low. And Junior gets it to go on the assist by Levine. Junior's got his second bucket of the night. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. You want to continue to build on this lead. Right now, still a little too close for comfort. And Toronto calls time here. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with matchups? Throws it up high. Showing that rebounding isn't all about size. It's about will and effort. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. Levine passes to Junior. Here 
to the middle. And it's hammered home by Green. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Here's Van Vliet after the basket by Chicago. Siakam right side. Trent on the wing. Wide open look. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Let's give some credit to the defense for how they're guarding this guy right now because they're refusing to let him get comfortable. And even from where we're sitting, you could clearly tell it was a foul. A chance to catch up on some numbers here. The scoring breakdown for the Bulls. Ever since this game started, they've been attacking on the inside, looking for ways to bust up the defense and get high percentage looks. Yeah, and in addition, their ball movement has really unleashed their offense. Boy, they've been fun to watch. Now here's Ananobi. His last outing, he had 24 points. Trent against Levine. Here's Barnes. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That is first well, of course, Scotty Barnes won the Rookie of the Year in 21-22, guys, and you would talk about a well-rounded basketball player who will affect winning with both his offensive ability and his defensive versatility. For Chicago, they've got seven of eight in the basket. To the inside, Green. And it's hammered home by Green. <laughs> Slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. The Raptors have gone only three for nine from the floor. Trent outside. Back to Van Vliet. Siakam right side. Junior against Van Vliet. Pass to Barnes. And again, no good by Toronto. The Bulls have gone an impressive eight of nine. Levine with it for three. Here's Vucevic. And the power finished by Vucevic. How about those instincts from the seven-footer? Vucevic uses that size to snag offensive rebounds. And an Obi against DeRozan. Left side, Barnes. Van Vliet finds Barnes. Here's Trent. Shot clock at six. Now here's Van Vliet. Sends it home from three-point land. Van Vliet's got six points. Wow, how about the start to this game? Taking excellent shots, capitalizing on everything the defense is giving him. This is great stuff. Now here's Levine. Pass to Vucevic. Got a piece of it. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Trent. Here's Junior. That miss aside, they're off to a strong start at the offensive end. And a miss there off the inbound. And lead on the wing, covered by Junior. Trent, the pass to Siakam, and he banks in the layup. Well, Siakam pushing right through the contact. Go ahead, young sir. Chicago leading. Pass to Vucevic. Junior against Van Vliet. And he lobs it up to the rim. And the lob disrupted. Not to be. Trent, the pass to Barnes. Drops in the layup for two. You get the sense Scotty Barnes is very comfortable in the painted area. That's easy work. Well, you think about the 2021 sign and trade of Kyle Lowry over to Miami. That truly was the signal that Fred Van Vliet is the undisputed leader of the Toronto Raptors. It is a role, guys, he has embraced thoroughly. And so here is Toronto. The Bulls making their last shot. And an Obi finds Siakam inside. And he jams it home with authority. Boy, Pascal Siakam plays at his own pace, able to find the open man. For Van Vliet, he fully took over point guard duties. Yeah, his playing time really increased. Van Vliet becoming one of the lead leaders, in fact, in minutes, guys. But more than that, Van Vliet's new role has been more vocal, taking on so much responsibility for his organization. And some changes here for the Raptors. Birch, he's checked in for Siakam. Achua comes in for Scotty Barnes. 
And it's Porter Jr. in for Ananobi. Drummond's checked in for Chicago. Ball comes in for Green. I think what you have to appreciate about Zach Levine is he is becoming such a well-rounded player, willing to share the basketball, willing to hit the boards, and certainly willing to become a more efficient shooter. Porter's shot is off. Trent against Ball. Junior outside. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. And despite the size mismatch, getting a little aggressive down there in the paint. Some guys just relish the challenge. Find a way, and he does. Now here's Porter. Back to Van Vliet. And he's going for the oop here. Oh, it's stolen by DeRozan. Levine against Trent. Here's Junior. Toronto grabs the miss. And this game, the first chance they've had to see Chicago. Yeah, last season they swept this team, which was expected given the delta in talent and consistency. Here's Porter coming off a solid outing against Dallas. Trent, the pass to Van Vliet. Just five to shoot. From downtown. DeRozan with the rebound. Man, that's his shot. <laughs> Maybe he was too wide open. Yep, that one goes. Go ball. And the Bulls lead by nine. <laughs> An outstanding first quarter from the field. Pass to Porter. Van Vliet against Junior. Van Vliet, the pass to Trent. And here's the Chua. Three-pointer, Van Vliet. No good. That's his third miss out of five attempts. Junior finds DeRozan. Back to Junior. Hey, now five for eight. Shooting a pretty good percentage right now. Defensively, They've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Up top, Porter. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Well, Otto Porter will utilize this area of the floor. If he's in the mid-range, you better have a hand up. Junior against Van Vliet. And there's the lob, and the dunk by DeRozan. Well, that's executing in alley-oop, if ever I saw one. DeMar DeRozan, he loves these highlight reel plays. Toronto has gone just two for six from the arc here in the first. Van Vliet, the pass to Trent. And here is Porter. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's on Zach Levine. The Otto Porter is a master at drawing contact on shots just like that. Porter hits them both. A minute 42 left in the first. Van Vliet against Junior. Pass to Drummond. And Drummond with the jam. They're not wasting any time putting their stamp on this game. What a start. And they've been doing it largely at the offensive end. If the defense does not adjust, this could be a blowout. Here's Van Vliet. The Bulls making their last shot. Up top, Porter. Fires from deep. Van Vliet misses. <laughs> the way they've gotten after rebounds has been impressive. Here's Levine. Good. And the assist goes to Junior. Junior's got assist number 10 tonight with that last one. Van Vliet, the pass to Trent. Now Porter, pass to Achua. Here's Van Vliet. Let's go with a three. Drummond grabs the miss. Drummond's got four rebounds now. Here's DeRozan. Perfect night so far, two for two. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Now here's Trent. Back to Porter. 
And they call an illegal screen here. The screener was leaning a bit right there. His feet may not have been planted. Pretty obvious call by the officials. You know, he's just leaning a little bit. You try to get away with it, but boy, the official all over it. Boucher's checked in for Birch. White, and it's the bull. Substitution here for Toronto. Siakam, he's checked in for Achua. Birch comes in for Boucher. Scotty Barnes checked in for Porter Jr. And it's OG Ananobi in for Trent. Kim Birch is out there with Pascal Siakam. Then there's Barnes. Then it's Fred Van Vliet. And it's Ananobi in at the two-guard spot. That's the five out there for the Raptors. Jr. against Ananobi. Junior outside. Oh, stolen by Ananobi. And now the Raptors on the break. Barnes with it. He's picked up by Levine. Ananobi passes to Van Vliet. Down low. And Burt slams it in. Got to give him the credit for jumping on the ball and making the most at the other end. Boy, inexcusable at this point of the game. They got to be more composed in these moments. Boy, in a tight game like this, that can change the whole tone. It helps your opponent get into a little bit of a rhythm. Impressive. I mean, challenging at the rim against length. You just have to love the aggressiveness. You have got to believe that you can score against size on the interior. How about the aggressive, assertive move there? Here's the floater, and Ananobi gets it to go on the assist by Van Vliet. I'll tell you, it's six foot eight with the elite athleticism. Good luck checking OG Ananobi on the interior. And there it is for him. Junior's got 14 points. Well, they're winning largely because of this guy's play. He has been sensational. Outside Ananobi. Pass to Birch. And that one drops. Birch has got his second basket. Just tremendous speed for a big man. He uses it to his advantage to get the easy bucket. Here's the sumo. On the wing, Junior. Back to Levine. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Barnes. And again, it's Chicago. Zach Levine working that mid-range game. So easy, so fluid. Van Vliet outside. Ananobi against Junior. Birch down low. That shot missing. Now Chicago takes it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Coming into this, having knots to win against Boston in their last game. You have to credit the game plan going in, especially at the offensive end, where they were just so relentless. And that's not an easy environment to play in. To score it the rate they did on the road says a lot about their intensity and focus. Chicago has gone 0 for 3 from deep to begin the second. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Well, guys, Pascal Siakam's play had dipped for a while after he got the big bag. He said it was like he got the max contract, but are you the guy? That's something I really struggled with. But there's still another level that I can get to, and I see myself as an all-star, and there's a lot more to unleash. Brian? Yeah, just now entering his prime, Ali. Thank you. Van Vliet finds Birch. And here's Ananobi. Siakam, right side. The three from Barnes. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Vucevic has got five rebounds in the game. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. And Toronto has possession. 
They trail by seven. They come into this one having outplayed the Mavericks last time out. Sometimes it's difficult to get good looks on the road, but they ran the offense brilliantly. Well, they knew exactly how to approach that defense. They shot a fantastic percentage because they got quality looks. And it's hard to overstate the impact OG Ananobi has on Mario. defense, Chris. Mm -hmm. Hey, VA, an absolute terror on the wings. I mean, he has great length, moves well, just one of the best one-on-one -on -one perimeter defenders in the league. Pass to Birch. Now Ananobi. Now here's Barnes. Looking to win the drought. And he knocks the jumper down. Barnes has got five points in the quarter. And their offense seems to be coming around. Now they're shooting upwards of 50% from the field. That one goes in. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. Huh. Toronto's gone 2 of 5 from distance here in the second quarter. Here's Siakam. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got six assists in the game. Chicago leading. Here's Junior. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Junior's got 22. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. Now here's Barnes. He picked up 12 points in their last win against the Mavericks in Dallas. And the other thing, guys, he really got after it on the backboards. What a complete game for this guy. Pocket four. Here's Siakam. He can't hit that time. Now Chicago takes it the other way. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Here's Vucevic. And Doris, last season, only five NBA players participated in all 82 games. That's a record low in the league's history. Well, in addition to that, Brian, consider the previous low was 17. So that's not even close. Now, we know the health and safety protocols contributed to that number, but it is pretty clear we're in the age of load management. What impact is that having on the league in terms of fan base? Porter Jr., he's checked in for Toronto. Back to Ananobi. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. DeMar DeRozan picks one up. One thing that makes OG Ananobi unique in this league, his nationality. I've heard OG say he hopes to inspire other British players. Well, I think, B.A., he's proved that there's a road for them, right? Basketball is played all over the world, and all you need to do is find somebody to notice you. The NBA certainly becomes more international every year. And he lobs it up top! And Drummond with the jam! Andre Drummond, my goodness, throw it up high, let him finish the rest. The Raptors shooting 59% in this quarter. Terrific. Outside Barnes. Pass to Porter. Puts it up from 12. Vucevic with a steal. Barnes against Levine. Here's Junior. Second chance effort. And Levine gets it to go on the assist by Junior. Levine's got 11 points. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here's Ananobi. And the foul is called. He missed it. So he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Well, the more opportunity that has been given to OG Ananobi, the more the show man shines. It is a multi-dimensional talent. Gives you... And so it's Chicago. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. More 2K action in just a moment.
And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And for Toronto, they're shooting at a respectable 49%. Second half underway. Here's who Billy Donovan's got on the floor. Levine is the two with DeRozan at the three. Green out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's Junior in at the point. Barnes in the post. Working on Green. The jump hook. Barnes, no good. They really have a commanding lead. Not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Here's Junior. And that one's long. Tread outside. Oh, he gets it to fall, and that makes it just a single-digit deficit. Trent's got nine. This team looks to him to score the ball. They feel good when he's taking the shots. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. Pass to Vucevic. Back to Junior. That's in there. Vucevic with the assist. Junior's got 24. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Outside Ananobi. Trent, the pass to Siakam. Down to five on the shot clock. 4-3. And Trent gets the three. He's got 12. Game plan from here forward should be very simple. With Gary Trent Jr. cooking, you make sure you find him. Jr. Misses from short range. Terrific rim protection impacting the shot. Boy, whether he blocks it or simply alters it, the result is pretty much the same. Another possession, another assist. That makes 15 assists. He has been one step ahead of the defense all game long. Outside Ananobi. Back to Van Vliet. Siakam against Vucevic from the right block. And there's Siakam. That one's good. On the assist from Van Vliet. Van Vliet's got assist number seven tonight. The Bulls have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. A nice shot by Junior. 26 points for him. And he's just crushing them with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. Trent, the pass to Siakam. Here's Van Vliet, covered by Junior. Junior against Van Vliet. Great D that time from Junior. And you have to think that they're leading this game because of how they've controlled the boards tonight. And the bucket is good. Junior's got 28. Well, because he's such a good scorer, passing windows open up for Zach Levine. The Raptors have gone 3 of 5 from the field in this third quarter. Trent outside. Pass to Barnes. Outside Ananobi. Oh, stolen by Junior. And now the Bulls in transition. Green, the pass to Junior. Takes a 13-footer. They get it back. And the power finished by Vucevic. He's got the size to make that an easy finish. Vucevic, deep position, and he's golden. And Toronto calls time here. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. Well, night in and night out. Sometimes it's a battle of runs. Who has the most? In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Trent outside. Outside Ananobi. And again, no good by Toronto. For Chicago, they've gotten five of eight shots to go in the third. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. A great read to get a hand in there and disrupt the play. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. Oh, there's the alley! And the power finished by Vucevic! There's a chemistry that Vucevic has with his guys. The alley and the oop. Toronto's gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Trent outside. Back to Van Vliet. Here's Barnes. 
give him eight points now. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Barnes has got ten points. How about Scotty Barnes showing off his IQ and pick and roll? Does a nice job finding his teammate. Oh, what a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. Here's Trent. And it's cleared by Vucevic. Vucevic has got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Green, the pass to Junior. And that comes off the assist by Green. Junior's got 30. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly, and capitalizing. Back to Ananobi. The shot that time, not on target. Oh, some solid D from DeRozan. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. The Raptors have gone four of nine in the third quarter. Pass to Van Vliet. Ananobi on the wing. And the shot goes in. He's got 12. I'll tell you, OG Ananobi showing you what can happen if he puts it all together. Doing work, OG. That one goes. Count it. And the Bulls lead by 16. They've now had assist on each of their last three buckets. Trent outside. Ananobi against DeRozan. Back to Trent. Pass to Van Vliet. Clock at six. Barnes passes to Trent. No good with the triple. And it's the Bulls' ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Levine gets the bucket. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Trent outside. Pass to Ananobi. Here's Barnes. Now here's Van Vliet, covered by Junior. Van Vliet, the pass to Barnes. And a great assist by Van Vliet as that one goes. Van Vliet's got nine assists now tonight. Time called here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. And when you look at Van Vliet on the floor, you would think he gets targeted on defense. But for a player his size, he can more than holds his own. And the Raptors with some changes. Achua's checked in for Siakam. Boucher comes in for Barnes. And it's Porter Jr. in for Ananobi. Drummond's checked in for Chicago. Lonzo Ball comes in for Zach Levine. He's putting on a show this quarter, and the team's feeding off his energy. For Toronto, they've gotten six of their first 12 shots to drop in this third. And Van Vliet, a very solid defender at his position, Grant. Not great length, but strong as any, B.A. I mean, he has great hands to bother the ball handler and great defensive IQ that makes the most of his athleticism. And again, well, another well. assist. That's another dime from him. He's tallying them up fast, B.A. Van Vliet against Junior. Trent, the pass to Achua. DeRozan against Porter. Trent on the wing. Let's it go from deep. He drops it from range. Trent's got 15 points. No hesitation whatsoever from Trent Jr. His mind is always thinking shot. Ball finds Jr. And he lobs it up. Stole it away. Nice job to interrupt the alley-oop attempt. And here's Porter outside. And it's Chicago with a board. Junior's got four rebounds now. To the inside, DeRozan. Count the basket. DeRozan's got four points this quarter. Boy, officials say play on, even though there's contact. DeRozan, I guess they don't think he needs any help. Outside, Porter. Pass to Achua. Trent on the wing. Shoots over Vucevic. Chicago grabs the miss. Ball outside. 
And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. And in Chicago, there are still feelings about what could have been last year. That team was rolling with Lonzo Ball at the point. Some changes here for the Raptors. Siakam, he's checked in for Achua. Barnes comes in for Trent. And it's Ananobi in for Fred Van Vliet. So Chicago going with an almost entire new group here. Nikola Vucevic is checked in for Drummond. Green comes in for White. Junior's checked in for Ball. And Dragic has subbed in for Caruso. Otto Porter is out there with OG Ananobi. Then it's Pascal Siakam. Then there's Barnes. And it's Boucher in at the four. That's the five out there for the Raptors. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Bulls? Well, picking all the low-hanging fruit, defenses these days want to concede the mid-range, and they're happy to take it. They've also made a concerted effort to get the ball down low. Many of their points coming in that painted area tonight. Outside Ananobi. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. We've seen fans removed for inappropriate comments to players. Doris, where do you draw the line between heckling and being inappropriate? I think one way I look at this, Brian, is if I were face-to-face -face with somebody, what would I be comfortable saying? for Chicago as they get the win. Boy, this crowd has to be shocked by the way their team was dismantled. A shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Allie LaForce, Doris Burke, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson alongside our 2K Sports crew thanking you for watching. So long, everyone. Great game tonight. You really had to work on the offensive end. Oh man, you know, man, my you know my shots were falling tonight, mostly because my teammates were setting me up with some great looks. You know, we always look for the open man, and tonight it was your boy. <laughs> Do you look at yourself as a go-to player on this team? Man, we got a whole bunch of go-to players. It all mm. depends on who who's feeling it that night. Right. Again tonight. My shots were falling, man. So, you know, we try to take it, you know, the best shots regardless of who it is. Mm hmm. Thanks, man. No doubt. <laughs> oh, man. I told you we'd have a good time. Yeah. Uh, this was great. This was great. Good. Hey, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sorry for blowing up on you the other day. Um, this is just, it's really hard for me to deal with. You know, it's too much at times. I know. But you don't have to figure it out alone. You've got a whole team just here to support you. There's nothing to figure out, though. Like, we go wherever they send me. That's how this league works. You're serious? Mila, what other choice do I have?
Thank you. Thank you, sir. I'm on my rookie contract. We can literally go wherever they send me. Unless you fight. Well, like Ricky said. No, not like Ricky said. Ricky and Ashley want you to wage war in the press. I just want you to be you. Yeah, well, me being me is what got me here. No, I want you to be the best version of you on the court. Make it impossible for Othello to trade you without looking like a fool. What do you think I'm doing? Giving half effort? Mila, I am working myself to the bone I, I right know, now. I know, I just, I think it's time to work a little harder. The MP that I fell in love with would not just roll over and give up like this. I'm not giving up. That's not what I'm doing. Then take your heels in. I mean, you said you wanted to start a family here. Did you mean that? Of course I meant that. This is where I want... Thank you, sir. Thank you. This is where I want to be. I just don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. Okay, well, if you want it, fight for it. If you have anything left in the tank, it's time to give it. I've seen you overcome impossible odds before, MP. Have you forgotten about college already? No, I have not forgotten about college. Then dig deep. Do it again. I know it's in you. I mean, yeah. do you want to stay or not? Yes. Are yes, you sure? Yes, I want to stay. Okay. Okay, but I don't think this whole good soldier routine is the way to go. I am trying my hardest out there, and if that's not enough already, okay. then I don't know. Okay, I hear you. I think you should think about it, because I'm just saying, as your girlfriend, the sabotage routine is not you. And what about as my business manager? What does she think? I don't know. You should weigh your options, I think. You can talk to Ricky and Ashley. I'm sure they have more details about their plan if you, if you want. Yeah, I'll definitely need to think on this one. Take your time. When you're ready, we can talk about it as a team. <laughs>